I'm heading to a region where researchers are digging up some of humanity's oldest farming communities in central Turkey. I'm interested in finding out if the birth of farming and the birth of belief in God are connected. Could this have been Eden? Amy? Hello. Come on over. Archaeologist Amy Bogard has been digging with a team here at Chattelhuya for two decades. Welcome. Thank you. So, Chattelhuyuk, 9,000 year old settlement. 9,000 years old. Amazing, isn't it? So, at its maximum extent, it's 13 hectares. That would be like 20 football pitches okay. in extent. Mm -hmm. All right, NFL football pitches or <laughs> soccer pitches? I don't know. <laughs> Probably soccer. Okay, uh, but but they were all they were all pretty much the same yeah. size. You can see that these houses are densely crowded together. There isn't much space between them. There was no space between them. Yeah. They had no windows or doors. Every house would have its own entrance it from would. above. Yes. Chatelhuyuk was a city with no streets. The people who lived here walked across town over the rooftops. Roofs were also where they worked. The people of Chatelhuyuk were some of the world's first city dwellers. But I want to know whether they were also some of the first believers. Did they think their world was created by a god? Amy takes me to a house that may hold the answers. What's the point of that red-rimmed hole that looks like very definite, has a definite reason. It's a typical sort of feature that's found at Chatal, which is a niche for hiding things away. Like they cache obsidian, you know, volcanic glass, because mm -hmm. it's a valued, you know, yeah, cutting it, material. You don't find it everywhere. Right. The most important hiding places archaeologists have found at Chatal Huyuk are beneath the sleeping areas. OK, so what about those holes over there? Those are actually burial places. Those are burial pits where... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. A human being is not going to fit in there. A baby, maybe. The way they can fit mature adults in pits like that is to bind them up very, very, very tightly in a flex position, and the holes are periodically reopened and new individuals added through the lifetime of the house. Wow. People are buried under the platforms so that people are literally living with ancestors. It sounds like this has some religious content. I, I think you're right. And they start to raise questions about what you might call ritual practice, which seem to have been crucial for life in this community. Could these burials be evidence of belief in God? Anthropologist Harvey Whitehouse is trying to get inside the heads of these early city dwellers. So this is a pretty authentic mock-up of what a typical kind of house in Chateauhuyuk would have looked like. These are the kinds of objects that we'd expect to find in one of those houses. Over here, we've got examples of wall art. You know, here we've got bull heads. We often find uh, these inserted into the walls. In one case, I've seen them arranged almost like a sort of protective shield around one of these clean spaces. And we know that these clean spaces were used for sleeping on. So, Harvey, you're an anthropologist. Mm -hmm. So you're more into what people are mentally into, right? Well, my imagination runs riot in an environment like this because I've seen the kind of stuff that comes out of the walls and that they've been taking out of the floors. We know that there were very interesting rituals surrounding uh, the burial of human remains, but those objects uh, would be periodically, in many cases, brought out. What they were doing with them, we don't really know, but that in many cases, they were put back very carefully and replaced. It's almost as if 
This isn't just a domestic dwelling. This is like a kind of living temple. Who used that word? <laughs> temple. Temple. Well, what is a temple, you know, if not a sort of uh, an environment in which uh, the ritual life of a community is conducted? And, and I think that's what is going on in these houses. Here in Chattanooga, there were obviously all kinds of rituals, particularly burial rituals, but no sign of an organized religion. So the question remains unanswered for me. Did religion allow man to live together, grow food, or did civilization give rise to our belief in God? 